All right, guys, it's time. NASA releasing images and doing a live stream, which they completely, completely recovering up a lot. I mean, you see on your screen the best images. The one on the left, the super best one, is actually from Ray's. And Ray's actually matches one of the first ones that they released. But it's so pixelated, you can't really tell what's there. But when you zoom in and you look, three, it, you can make out at least three of these little dots are around it. One, two, and three. The one on the left is just way better. It's, it's cleaned up way better. And they released this garbage. Don't, don't bother cleaning it up, showing you in any other detail, in any other aspect. Instead, what they do in this live stream is they come out and they immediately start to go on the defensive. And right at the gate, trying to say, this is a comet. And it behaves like a comet, looks like a comet. By all accounts, it's a comet, but it's different. It's from a different place and, and blah, blah, blah. And they pass it to the next person and they kind of repeat, regurgitate the same crap. And then to the third, to the fourth. And then callers start to come in and they actually ask straight up, is this thing a ship? It may sound crazy, conspiratorial, but the guy's like, I'm asking it anyway. They still wouldn't grab the bull by the horns. They beat around the bush and kind of kept repeating themselves. All the while, they shared these images from the ESA, from Lasco, from Maven. And you can see where it says Lasco there. The one on the right is from Maven, and they say that this is a signature of the hydrogen around Mars and then in between and then this object, which they say is there. They were just saying last week that so much debris was kicked out when it ran around the sun here recently that it shouldn't be there, but it's there. I've got so many images, I can't fit them into the screen here. I'm going to cover more on the live stream. Some of the best are from people with backyard telescopes. And the one on the left from Rays, it's cleaned up. And it matches actually one of the first ones they put out. If you take all the background, all the noise out of it and clean it up, that's what you're looking at. It's almost a match. It's almost a match. Right? That's hard to come by. And we haven't seen nothing like this thus far. All the rest have been little fuzz balls, and that's all they've kicked out. That's it. They were like, oh, we'll, we'll put some more up on our website. Going to take time. But one thing they admitted in their live stream over and over again, and I'm not even sure if they realize what they've done. They said that they were watching this since they locked onto it all the way through this entire time. And it's been a unique experience. And they even mentioned the government shutdown. Like we, we weren't able to put out the, the images and this and that. But then they turn around and they say, well, we watched this thing the entire time. So while the government was shut down, they were still spending money. These people were still at work getting paid. They were watching this thing on a daily basis and they admit it. Eh, the only thing that they didn't do is kick these images out till now because the government was shut down. Oh, you could go into work, you guys could pull out the telescopes, all the computers, you could do all the stuff, but the one thing you failed to do or just simply couldn't do is post these images. This whole thing is ridiculous. I don't trust them, never have, never will. It's unfortunate that this is what we got to deal with, but I am grateful for the backyard astronomers. Guys like Ray's, the guys like Dobsonian, Tiago over there, they get the real raw images that we can look at that show us the details and the truth in what we're looking for. Knowing that NASA has way better images from telescopes, from, from cameras that were way closer to this thing, and they still give us fuzzballs, I mean, kind of what did you expect? It's ridiculous in my book. You know, everybody knows they're sitting on better. And if they release better, and as they do release images, we'll dive into them. They could quietly pop off better ones on the website in the coming days. But live stream was a joke. 
The whole presentation was a joke. But I will say, for the first time, we, we've got a match here from two different telescopes. And one's theirs, for crying out loud. On the shape of this, if you clean theirs up, it's going to look just like this. That, to me, is the biggest takeaway right now. And it looks wild. Does that look like a comet to you? You're going to be like, oh, it's got five jets coming off of it, which they've already told you it does. But they're not natural. They're not normal. And as I discussed with Avi Loeb's findings here this past week, the trails coming off of it should be spinning and swirling because it's spinning. But they're not. They're locked into position, which is weird. It's what it is. This is the latest. We're going to dive into this further on the next live stream, this comparison between these two. I'll leave links below. Join me for those live streams going live. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Talking about this and a whole lot more. Hope to see you there. Much love.